Hey Steve, today I want to talk about Guardian Insurance Company, also Berkshire, because Berkshire and Guardian are now molded as one company. So um, let's talk mostly Guardian is where we see the group ERISA governed policies, which is probably 90% of the claims we see coming out of Guardian, whereas we see with Berkshire, we see the individual disability claims. So in terms of where most people call us with a Guardian policy tends to be if they're claim has been denied or they're just going to file for a claim and um, they're not sure what do they do. So l let's talk about the person who is considering filing a claim or is in that process when it comes to Guardian. How do you help a person who's in that position who's just applied or considering applying? Well, I think the biggest thing and the first thing when it comes to applying is since Guardian is on the, the group side, it's provided by your employer. Um, one of the first things I always want to know, how long have you worked for the employer? If you work there for less than a year, then there's going to be concerns about pre-existing condition limitations for long-term disability benefits. Uh, that's first and foremost. But I, I think it always goes back to the actual policy itself, um, the language, how they're going to look at your occupation, you know, certain uh, factors within the policy. So it always starts with the review. Uh, of that language, so you can figure out how the uh, you know the medical condition or the occupation are going to be you know affected you know and, and how the policy language is going to treat them. Right. I think that once you get down the policy language for what it's going to be in your guardian policy, the next thing is is what kind of medical support mm -hmm. do you have for your claim? That's going to be essential because you may feel maybe you were working, you felt sick, and then you decided to go to the doctor, or you went to the doctor once, maybe twice, and you haven't had that conversation with the doctor to say, doc. I don't think I can do my job anymore. What are your thoughts? Because I can almost guarantee you that Guardian's going to pick up the phone or have some medical consultant call your doctor. And then they're going to ask your doctor to fill out some paperwork saying, can you work or can you not work? So you absolutely 100% have to have medical support and at least have that conversation with your doctor. Otherwise, you're just not going to be in a position to get approved for your claim. And then what do you think about the importance of understanding the vocational activities and what does that mean of, well, the, you know, of the claimant? The vocational, usually if you're just following for long term, you're at least going to have at least at a minimum probably a year, most likely two. That's the standard where it's going to determine whether or not you're um, unable to perform the substantial material duties of the occupation you're employing, you know, doing for your company. With that caveat, though, most of the policies will say that own occupation is defined how it's normally performed in the national economy. That's very common. Um, but like most insurance companies, too, it seems, especially when they reach out to people's doctors, if your job is mainly sitting at a desk all day, they might just want to do an analysis, of, well, can you perform sedentary work duties? Well, sitting at a desk isn't necessarily you know, the end-all be-all to being able to perform your job duties. So it's also important to make sure that not only you are presenting to the company uh, what your job is, what it entails, but that you're also discussing it with your doctors. Uh, some doctors think they might be doing their patients a, a favor when they say, listen, I, I think you can only do sedentary work, you can only lift up to 10 pounds X, Y, and Z. And sometimes you see the insurance companies will then use that as a basis to deny saying, well, you can do your own job. So that's another conversation that has to be performed with the doctor as well. All right, and then you have on the Berkshire side, which is mostly the individual disability policies that people bought on their own, and those aren't really handled that much differently than, than the ERISA group policies. They tend to be administered in the same manner. I guess the biggest advantage being if you disagree and you have a Berkshire policy versus a Guardian policy is that you're going to have your opportunity to not have to go through the ERISA appeal, get a jury trial versus a non-jury trial, and there's a lot of pros and cons of ERISA versus non ERISA, which we've discussed in other videos, and we're happy to discuss with you if you call us. But my take on, on Berkshire with these individual policies is that they're very detailed, very thorough in their review of the claim. Yes, they can make mistakes on the claim, but if you don't have your claim really ready for them, they're going to find a reason to not pay the claim. So you, you absolutely have to be prepared, whether it's the medical, the occupational, the financial information, all of those things. Don't think you're just going to send in your application and Berkshire is going to approve it because they're going to ask a hundred questions. Yeah, and that's also the biggest caveat and difference between the Guardian Group and the Berkshire individual is usually those who own Berkshire 
whether it be medical professionals, business professionals, uh, business owners, and then there's a whole other evaluation into profit and loss statements. If you're a doctor, your production Right, codes, that's when you get into the residual that, that type of stuff is also going to be looked into. So that all has to also kind of all gel together with what's going on from a medical and vocational aspect. Right, and we've done that other video on total versus residual, mm -hmm. and that gets in a lot you know, with the Berkshire individual yeah. policies. And we've talked about specifically for doctors and lawyers and things like that applying. Maybe you're not total, but maybe you're partially disabled. So, you know, whether it's an application with Berkshire or Guardian or if, if it's a denial and there's gonna be an appeal or there's gonna be a lawsuit, these are all things that we've handled on countless occasions. Feel free to give us a call. We'll always offer you a free consultation and we look forward to the opportunity to speak with you. Yeah.